Hello. It has been wonderful weather. I hope you have been playing outside. I know I have. I even got a little bit of a sunburn from sitting on my swing. Well, if you have been joining me on our live music movement and game times, thank you. It has been so nice to see you out there. And if you have not joined us, please make sure you do. I'm going to do one a week the rest of the semester. Keep an eye on your emails and Facebook for the time and day. But let's get started. I want to show you this elephant. My sister went to Africa and she brought back this elephant. She said, here's a dolly from Mali. Mali is a country in Africa. And I thought, that's fun, it rhymes. And it made me think of an elephant song that's all about rhyming words. So I have this elephant, and then Alistair built this fun elephant toy out of Legos for me. So I'm going to borrow that elephant. And if you have an elephant, would you pause right now and go find it? And if you don't have a stuffed elephant or a Lego elephant, would you draw a picture of an elephant and bring it back? Because you're going to need it for this song. Welcome back. Did you get an elephant? Here's mine. Here's my song. Willoughby Wallaby Wee, an elephant sat on me. Willoughby Wallaby Woo, an elephant sat on you. Did you notice? that we and me rhymed, and woo and you rhymed. Who else can the elephant sit on in my house? Oh, Willoughby Wallaby Wommy, an elephant sat on Mommy. Willoughby Wallaby Waddy, an elephant sat on Daddy. Who else lives in your house? Ooh. Willoughby Wallaby Wister, an elephant sat on your sister. Willoughby Wallaby Wother, an elephant sat on your brother. Who else might be in your house? <gasps> Willoughby Wallaby Wog, an elephant sat on the dog. Willoughby Wallaby Wat, an elephant sat on the cat. Willoughby Wallaby Wish. An elephant sat on the fish. Willoughby Wallaby Wordle. An elephant sat on the turtle. What else could an elephant sit on? Mm, grab your elephant. I'm going to use the little one. And since my elephant has sat on everyone in my house, Maybe it's time to sit on my body parts. Whoop! Willoughby Wallaby Warm, an elephant sat on my arm. Willoughby Wallaby Wolder, an elephant sat on my shoulder. Where else could my elephant sit? Ooh! Willoughby Wallaby Wee, an elephant sat on my knee. Willoughby Wallaby Woes, an elephant sat on my nose. I look forward to hearing about all the different places your elephant has been sitting in your house. For our next rhyme, we're going to do chop, chop, chippity, chop. And I believe you've experienced this before. The poem goes like this. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Cut off the bottoms and cut off the tops. What we have left, we put in the pot. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Take your hand and make a chopping motion. You can chop your arms, you can chop your legs. Whatever you want to chop on your body. Don't chop your friends, that's unkind. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Cut off the bottoms and cut off the top. What we have left, we put in a pot. Chop, chop, chippity chop. I just happen to have a pot with me and a wooden spoon. 
Oh, that's fun. Oh, it woke up my dog. All right, what shall we put in our... Ooh, have you ever put your voice in a pot? Hello! That's so fun! Hello in there, pot! All right, you should definitely find a pot and something to stir with. Have you ever wondered why there's a hole in the middle of this wooden stirring utensil? I've always wondered that. I don't know the answer. I thought maybe you would. Okay. So, go ahead and you need a pot and you need something to stir with. Go get it. All right, welcome back. Let's stir. Oh, we should probably chop maybe first. On our arm, on our, on our pot, okay. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Cut off the bottoms and cut off the top. What we have left, we put in the pot. Chop, chop. Chippity chop, and we stir the pot. Now I happen to have some ingredients handy. Before I sat down here to make music with you, I went out into my yard and I collected some things to put in the pot. All right, so here's my pot. I grabbed this handful of grass. I thought that looked really yummy. And I grabbed some of these little purple flowers. Aren't they so cute? They look like little bells hanging upside down. They might be called bluebells. I'm not sure. E oh, here's another stem. Oh, and oh, these are violets. Violets are so pretty. They come up wild in the yard or you can plant them. You might have African violets in a pot in your house. My mom always grew African violets. Sometimes they're even pink, crazy. All right, they go in my pot. Violets are my favorite because my, my favorite color is purple and violets are typically purple. And then of course, dandelions. Dandelions are the most important ingredient in any stew that you make from your backyard. Aren't they fun? You can wear them. You can sniff them. I used to rub them on my chin and pretend I had a butter stain. I do lots of things with dandelions. Now it's time to stir. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Cut off the bottoms and cut off the tops. What you have left, we put in the pot. Chop, chop. Chippity chop. I hope you have fun making stew and music in your backyard. Our final piece is a lullaby. So you're going to need something to rock. I'm going to use this here pig and I'm going to rock and sing. So pause the video if you need to go get something to rock. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. And if that mockingbird won't sing, Mama's gonna buy you a diamond ring. And if that diamond ring turns brass, Mama's gonna buy you a looking glass. And if that looking glass gets broke, Mama's gonna buy you a billy goat. And if that billy goat won't pull, Mama's gonna buy you a cart and bull. And if that cart and bull turn over, Mama's gonna buy you a dog named Rover. And if that dog named Rover won't bark, Mama's gonna buy you a horse and cart. And if that horse and cart fall down, you'll still be the sweetest baby in town. I hope you enjoyed our lullaby. Kiss your baby goodnight. And I'll see you again soon.